are you looking for a software engineering or a data science internship and not having any success with it in this video i'm going to share some tips that can help you get the internship faster number one is building connections connections are the most important thing now while you're still in college you can build the connections let's say with your seniors who are still in the college or if uh, they have started working in the industry uh, many colleges will have portals like Alumni Connect, which allows the college student to connect with the alumni. So connect with your seniors. They might be working on some company already. And if they have some internship opportunities, they can help you. So connections with seniors is very important. The second way is to participate in coding competition. So if you're in a software engineering it will be a coding competition if you are looking for a data science internship it will be a kegel competition so participate in all these competitions not only you are learning technical skills you are building great connections and if you achieve a good score in this competition of course it will look good on your resume you can also attend uh, different events like hackathon or if you have any tech fest in the co in, in your college or even tech fest might be organized outside if you attend these events uh, participate actively maybe become a part of the organizing team and those will be awesome opportunities for you to build great connections with other people the other platform for building connection is LinkedIn. So you can go to LinkedIn and search people who are working in different companies and then you can send them a request. Now it is likely that uh, people will not respond to this request because of course they are busy, but don't lose a hope. If you send, let's say 10 requests, even if one gets accepted, it's, it's still good. And what happens is sometimes people wish other people on let's say Christmas or when it is their birthday. So when you wish other person on a birthday or Christmas, it kind of, you know, you, you build that connection. So it's not like you're talking to that person only when you have uh, some selfish motive, but you're having a general conversation like, like the conversation that you have with your friend. So these strategies will help you build good connection. It will make your network wider. And now when you're looking for internship opportunity, that network will be very, very useful. Second important tip is to contribute to open source and various communities. When you contribute to open source, uh, you are interacting with the experts in the industry. Let's say you want to contribute to Pandas open source, you can do uh, GitHub Pandas and you will find a number of open issues in, in Pandas package. Now you can pick up one issue and then start contributing, start raising pull request. And other people who are reviewing your pull request will be industry expert and you will kind of build a connection and you also get a feeling of giving back to the community as well. Now, uh, open source is not the only way to help people. Uh, there are other ways, which is Stack Overflow, for, for example. People just try to help people on Stack Overflow, you know, like, yeah, sometimes if you don't know the answer of the question, maybe you can f put some effort, find it out. And the reputation gets built on Stack Overflow and that reputation will look pretty good on your resume. And that can help you with an internship. The other way is Discord community. So I have a Discord community for my channel and there is this person Vedant. He and a couple of other people are helping uh, on that Discord community a lot. So they're, they are gaining their knowledge, but they have built strong connection with me. Now my brother has a software company. So when his company has a software engineering internship, I can recommend Vedant because I know he's a smart guy and uh, my brother would accept him uh, uh, in his company for the internship opportunity. So when you try to help people without any selfish motive, there is no quantifiable gain that is available immediately but these connections that you're building you know it's hard to quantify those relationship but when you have a need those relationships work so good for you third tip is start applying early based on which country and which college you're studying in your internship might start at a different period in the year but make sure you're on top of it and you start applying as early as possible 
when they pick up your resume for software engineering internship uh, in the interview they're most likely going to ask you competitive coding question so competitive coding for software engineering internship is very very important for data science internship little bit of, pro of programming is, is required but you should focus more on your mathematics and statistics knowledge and start preparing for data science related questions you know the case studies and analyzing a given problem from data analytics mi mindset so based on whether you are in software engineering or data science based on these two areas you can start preparing for an interview and for software engineering uh, if you want to practice competitive coding there are many websites available lit code hacker and hacker earth so practice the coding problems and even try to participate in any events if they have any coding challenge try to participate in these events so these will prepare you for your interview the next one is having a good rapport with your hod or with your college professors because these uh, professors are organizing event with corporates right they are inviting different companies to come for uh, internship or campus fairs and so on and if you have good relationship uh, with them you get the news of or or what's happening in the in internship area you you get all the updates regularly and those recommendation might also have you know sometimes small companies might go based on the recommendation that HOD has so it is say if I have a company and if I have a good relationship with HOD of some X university I, I might say okay who are who are your best five guys can you give me that and based on that relationship between the corporate and professor and professor and the students uh, you will end up benefiting this one is participating in college clubs so this could be like let's say astronomy club or a coding club any kind of club these participating in these uh, clubs help you develop soft skills soft skills such as communication team management presentation and when you go for an interview for software engineering or data science internship they are also checking your soft skills they're checking your communication how well you present how confident you are these are the things you are not going to be, be building by reading some technical articles or, or, or by watching some videos you will build these things by applying or by practicing these skills in real life and becoming part of these clubs is the best way even participate in sports you know so when you do this you're building these soft skills which are going to be useful during your interview this one which i keep on mentioning all the time is projects while you're in college you should be working on as many projects as possible also try to get a real project if possible i have another video where i have mentioned how you can work on real projects without having a job so the link is in video description below watch that video when you do these projects obviously you are learning technical skills you are learning different other skills related to project management so if you are a data science intern for example i have a list of projects on my channel the link of playlist is in the video description below you can take maybe those projects and customize it for your needs if you're looking for python projects as a software engineer i have python projects playlist as well so take an inspiration i'm not saying you should do copy but take an inspiration from those projects and try to build your own projects also if you follow my other video on getting like a real project uh, for example you can approach nearby ngo and offer your help to them for free and that will give you a real project and it will help you build not only technical skills but how you deal with the client how do you do requirement gathering project management and so on these projects on your resumes will make a big impact when a recruiter is looking at your resume for an internship and if you have done some really good projects you're likely to get uh, an interview call i hope these tips were useful both for software engineering and data science internship if you have any comments or if you have any questions, please post in a video comment below. I'll, I try to respond to the comments which I receive in first two days. Usually I try to respond to all of those comments. So any question, please post. Thank you for watching.